are hopefully beating Byron today. I doubt we will, but we're going to see. We're going to do Byron today, and we're going to go to Iron Island. I don't know for how far we'll get, but we'll see. I at least want to do the gym trainers first, and then we'll do Iron Island. I read Worker Willy as Wonka Willy, and I'm like, what's really Wonka doing in the Pokemon world? Like, why is he not in his chocolate factory? Did anybody else remember when they used to have, like, actual Wonka candy, like Wonka bars? Or, like, it was like an actual candy, or was that just me? Because I know it was an actual candy. Wonka bars are, like, pretty good. Not as good as Hershey bars, but they were pretty slapping. But yeah, wasn't, weren't Wonka, wasn't Wonka, like, an actual candy company? Like, didn't they make the, the nerds candy? Hang on, I'm Googling this shit. Yeah, I knew it was made by Willy Wonka. It was made by the Wonka Candy Company. I knew that. I knew that. Oh, wait, I have a question for you guys. I have a question for you guys. I have a question for you, chat. What's the candy that you love, but is now discontinued that you wish they would bring back? Like, a discontinued candy or snack. You know what? A candy or a snack that you wish would come back, even though it's discontinued. For me, uh, this was by the same people that made, uh... The sweet tarts so yeah i'm pretty sure this is like the same people that made sweet tarts so it was like also wonka i believe so there's like this sour candy called shockers and it was so good and it was so perfectly sour i used to get them in vending machines and now they don't have them anymore and i'm so salty about that i miss shockers dude they were a really good sour candy what's another uh candy that i liked uh is Hubba Bubba bubble tape still a thing or no? Because I did, I used to eat that a lot when I was a kid, even though you shouldn't really eat gum. But I like the sour green apple kind. That that kind slapped. Iron ball. Balls. I don't know what I'm doing. Hello, Riley. You are? Oh, Riley's a lot more handsome than I remembered. Okay, you're Yui. I'm Riley. Hell yeah, I am. I'm a trainer, and yes, it is a bit odd that I would be training here. If you would like, we could team up. The wild Pokemon here are restless. Hell yeah, first date with Riley. If your Pokemon get hurt, I'll heal them up. Ooh, such a gentleman. I love that in a guy. You know, I'll use Quick Attack on this thing. It's not going to do much, but I'll just use Quick Attack. And then Lucario can knock it out. Oh, did it a lot more than- No, Lucario! You're supposed to take it out! What's wrong with you? You gotta take it out. It's gonna kill me now. Bruh. Riley, you're supposed to do a good job with your Pokemon. Thank you. Look at me, doing all the work as always because I'm such a girl boss. Guys, look, it's the only other fire type in this game. It's Ponyta. Sorry, that joke is never gonna get old, I swear. Team Galactic, what's up, man? I get it now. You're responsible for agitating the Pokemon. I don't care what good reason you, ha you may have here, but I don't want you bringing any trouble into my mind. We're Team Galactic. We'll take all the Pokemon we want. Isn't that right, partner? You said it, brother, so that's what we're gonna do. We're abducting all the Pokemon from this rusted out Iron Island. Wait, Riley owns Iron Island? I never knew that. We love a man with money in this house, a man with money and power. <laughs> to share in all the joys and all the sorrows. That is how all the trainers and Pokemon live in Sinnoh. I won't allow anyone to defy that code of ethics. Come on, you eat this one battle we can't lose. Stop, I said stop. Your combination is so sick to both of you and your Pokemon. Let's beat it, partner. I don't know why, I just thought about that one uh, Simpsons meme where it's like, Stop, stop, he's already dead! You said it, brother. We don't even know what Team Galactic's big plan is anyway. Okay, okay, things are being useless then. Thanks, you really helped me out. Listen, I have a Pokemon egg here, would you like to take it with you? Sure. Thanks, I'd like you to show the Pokemon that hatches from that egg all sorts of new places. Uh, sure, I'll definitely do that. Spending time with you is very enjoyable. Aw, Riley, I'm glad you enjoyed our date. I intend to test my skills in other places from now on. Let's meet again. Take care on the way out. Bye, Riley. All right, guys, let's go kick Byron's ass. Ah, that's Orbird's gym badge. I see, I see, you need to be my son. Yep, but that's no surprise. He still has so much to learn. In place of my son, Rourke, I, Byron, will accept your challenge. Poggers. Bite. Good. Good job. 
Trick Room, that's not really gonna do much since you're gonna die. Oh god, never mind. He's confused, right? Ugh. Please hit it! Hit it! Come on, Minx! Good job! Alright, that's one. That's one. Alright, next, Steelix. Uh, get out there, Kowalski. Come on, Kowalski! Alright, Brian. Ha! Your steering storm isn't gonna do shit to me because I am also a steel type. <laughs> sucker. Oh, almost. Almost. He's gonna heal it up, but that's okay. Alright, that's two. All that's left is Bastiodon. Good job, Kowalski. Good job, Bounce. Even though he did nothing. Bastiodon. Oh, what's this? My last one? This is where we make our stand. You say that, but I'm gonna kick its ass easily. Ooh. Uh, nice stickers. They're not as pretty as the other ones, but they're pretty potters, dude. Alright, uh, Brine. Alright, we got it down to the yellow. That's good. One more and it should be down. Oh, never mind. It has a citrus berry. I forgot about the citrus berry. Ugh. Thunderbolt. Okay, that's not too much damage. We'll be okay. And good job setting up that sandstorm that literally did nothing to us, you loser. Let's try Bubble Bean. Maybe I'll do a lot more damage than Brine. Okay, yes, yes it did. We're not done yet. There's no giving up. Might as well, dude. I'm like one hit away from killing you. And... It's over! We did it! We did it, guys. We did it! Alright, that was an easy battle. Easy battle. Easiest battle in the game. 10 out of 10 would battle again because it was so easy. Good job, Kowalski and Minx. We defeated Byron. My sturdy Pokemon defeated! Yeah, get wrecked, noob. You were strong enough to take down my prize team of Pokemon. In recognition of that power, I give you this, the mine badge. But now it's mine badge. Eh? Eh? I'll go home. Hello, chat. Hey, that's the mine badge. Good going. You're even tough enough to take a shot at becoming the Pokemon champion. Hell yeah, dude, I am. Of course, I'm tougher, so that's actually gonna happen. Uh, yeah, we'll see about that. Your star avia just evolved. You don't even have a star raptor. Anyways, Yui, come with me to the library. Reading in Pokemon? What is this? Hey, Yui, over here, this way. Oh, and Professor and Lucas are here. Nice. Okay, Gramps, I brought you, like I said. And now I'm out of here. Wait, you're not gonna join me? Bruh. You can't just drag me to the library and leave. Okay, I get it. Yeah, you better stay. Hmm, everyone's finally here. Listen up. You may have forgotten already, but I studied the evolution of Pokemon. No, I remember that. The more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. There are some Pokemon that evolve, and others that don't. What makes them different from each other? Do immature ones evolve into ones that are more mature? Mayhaps. If so... What do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? They're just pretty poggers. Are we too assuming that the legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh are complete as creatures? This is where you three come in. There is said to be a mysterious Pokemon in each of the three lakes of Sinnoh. If we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these mysterious Pokemon. What are you saying? I, don't, I didn't get a Pokétex. And who was it that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give them one? Oh, he got he got you there, chat. He got you there. But that's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you in becoming a better trainer, too. You bet, Professor. This will add to the Pokedex database and help advance your research. Hmm, I would have made all of you go regardless. Now then, there are three lakes. 
fortu fortu fortuitously. I think that's what it says. I don't know. I can't read. There are three of you. You should split up and investigate the lakes individually. Lucas, you go to Lake Verity. Yes, sir. Chat, I want you to investigate Lake Acuity. That would take you almost to Snowpoint City. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Uh, yeah, of course, Grant. You know how to call it. You can tell I'm the hotness. And that leaves you with Lake Valor. Why did you turn like that? That was weird. The lake is between Veilstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Oh, that's not a good sign. Has it stopped? Are all of you unharmed? That was like literally three seconds. Yeah, we're fine, dude. Let's go outside, but be careful. I'm, I'm concerned about the city. Alright, well, this shouldn't be good. Huey, hurry along, but beware of aftershocks. To be fair, this is Japan. Alright, what's up? Whoa, that tremor. That wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, hey, old dude and kids, something big just happened. You're saying there's a huge explosion at Lake Valor. Kaboom! Like that! Okay. Gramps, I'm gonna go to the lake. I have a bad thing about this. <laughs> that chat can't sit still. You, I'm worried about Lake Valor. However, I have no idea what is taking place. You must find out. But before you go, I can't stress this enough. Don't get in over your head. Don't tell me what to do. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. What happened at Lake Valor, I wonder?